morning. My name is Regina Woolfolk. I'm Deputy Director of Public Affairs for the Houston Police Department, and we thank you for being with us today. Tomorrow marks the 33rd National Night Out event. These events will take place in Houston and Harris County. They'll begin at 6 p.m. and run until 9 p.m. National Night Out is more than just a social gathering. It's a bridge building activity. And in just a moment, you'll hear more from our uh, officials here about the significance and the importance of National Night Out. Now, first, we'd like to recognize all of the agencies that are here with with us today and we'll start with the Houston Police Department with our assistant uh, our acting chief rather excuse me Martha Montavo and we also have our DRT and community liaisons uh, repre uh, represented here we also have representation from the Harris County Sheriff's Office and you'll also hear from the sheriff on momentarily Ron Hickman Hickman and his representatives we also have uh, Metro Police Chief Vera Bumpers here and we also have several constables, May Walker, and I believe I also saw from Precinct 6, Constable Hildoro Martinez, and Precinct 4, Mark Herman. And now it is my pleasure. Oh, oh yes, Chief's right. And we have several council members and representatives that are here with us today. We have our public safety chair, Brenda Stardy. We also have at-large council members, and that would be Amanda Edwards and Mike Knox, and District K <laughs> council member Larry Green. And now it is my pleasure to bring forward. <laughs> Did we forget anyone? Oh, okay, we're getting to that, okay? <laughs> we're getting to the best part. <laughs> And now it is my pleasure to bring forward our Honorable Mayor of Houston, Sylvester Turner, who has a special proclamation that he will be making to our Acting Chief of Police, Martha Montavo. Thank you. And my first, first task is to, uh, is to recognize each one of these uh, officers and law enforcement community uh, by name. And if, if I, um, I was supposed to call you all out by your full name, and uh, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> look, for 33 years, uh, residents and neighborhoods all over the Houston uh, area have stepped up out of their homes to meet their neighbors and renew their commitment to public safety. Uh, the rest of the nation observes National Night Out in August. Uh, in Texas, we push it to October, and I think we all know why we push it to October. Um, <laughs> National Night Out co uh, comes as we are seeing crime stats inch up in Houston, and Chief Montavo and I have been monitoring this since last March and have taken several steps aimed at turning things around, including an extra $2 million in overtime, additional cadet class, the shifting of 175 officers from their desk jobs to the streets, and a crackdown on gangs and cush. At the same time, we are utilizing programs like My Brother's Keeper, Turn Around Houston, and Hire Houston Youth uh, to address the dissatisfaction and unemployment that can lead to crime. It's hard to say exactly why we are seeing this increase, but what I do know is that we have to fight it on many different fronts, uh, and I'm hopeful that we will begin to see the numbers change by the end of the year. Uh, but today, this morning, uh, I am pleased as we start talking about National Night Out, uh, to present a proclamation. I'm going to give this to the Acting Chief uh, Martha Montalvo. It's just important, uh, more so than any time before, for people to kind of get out of their homes, get outside, uh, meet their neighbors, uh, meet people from the law enforcement community from all of the different areas, and just to kind of get to know one another. That's, I think that's the, that's the main thing. Uh, so uh, let, me, let me just read this very briefly. Uh, the 33rd Annual Houston Harris County National Night Out. It's good to be standing with County Judge Ed Emmett. Thank you, and uh, he brought his distinctive glasses. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to give me a pair of those. You know, and, and look, it's all about National Night Out. You bring your own set of glasses, all distinctive, you know. 
Uh, each year, the National Night Out provides an opportunity for Houstonians to join forces with communities across the country in promoting safe, safer neighborhoods and demonstrating the success of cooperative crime prevention efforts uh, and programs such as National Night Out enhance public awareness of crime. As part of their efforts to better inform and involve area residents in crime prevention, the Houston Police Department, Harris County Sheriff's Department, and other local law enforcement entities will host numerous activities uh, to observe National Night Out on October 4th, which is on Tuesday. Uh, the City of Houston urges its residents to participate in this worthwhile endeavor and extends to citizens and law enforcement officials for their help uh, in assuring a successful observance. And therefore, I, Sylvester Turner, Mayor of the City of Houston, hereby proclaim October 4th, 2016, as the 33rd Annual Houston Harris County National Night Out in the City of Houston. Chief Montavo, let me present this to you. I look forward to getting out on Tuesday night, getting a hot dog or a barbecue sandwich, or <laughs> <laughs> as one group uh, last year, they outdid themselves. I was running a little late, so they just, uh, a judge, they just, they just loaded up a whole lot of stuff. And, uh, and then uh, one of the ladies took me into her home and just loaded up some additional stuff, some pies and cakes. and. Uh, and I took, I mean, she was, I mean, she was doing it right. So um, uh, tomorrow night, you all, you know, <laughs> nothing wrong with a little food, you know, <laughs> and a little entertainment. So enjoy tomorrow night, National Night Out. Come out and celebrate. Okay. Thank you very much, Mayor. I appreciate the proclamation. I know our officers do, and I want to thank Judge Edmund. Uh, the sheriff and really all of our law enforcement that's here today promoting uh, the 33rd annual Houston um, National Night Out. It's, it's, it's very important for us to promote this event um, because we're all going to be out and about in our different communities in the city and the county. And the message we want to get across is this is a unique opportunity to meet those neighbors perhaps that you may or may not know but it's also an opportunity to meet those officers who patrol in your particular community. Um, this is all about safety, but it's also about making those uh, relationships work. We cannot keep our communities safe without the help of the people who live in those communities. You know what stands out, you know what should not be happening in those communities, and you need to have trust and those relationship with those p police officers so you can let us know and that we can work together to keep our community safe. So I look forward to tomorrow night, as the mayor said, uh, we all know where the good food is at. And uh, <laughs> so we'll be out there and I look forward to thanking everybody and getting the message across that safety is about being vigilant, all of us, and keeping our, our communities uh, and our neighborhoods safe. Thank you. Thank you, Chief, and thank you, Mayor. And next, we will have from Harris County, Judge Emmett, with a special resolution recognizing National Night Out that will be presented to Harris County Sheriff Ron Hickman. Good morning, and thank you very much. Uh, Mayor, I've known you long enough. I remember when we didn't have to wear glasses. <laughs> But for those of you that didn't catch that story, see, mine are a lot more colorful. Um, and, and these are very expensive, exclusive glasses. I bought them at the car wash on Kirby. <laughs> and I will get you a pair, I promise. You know, I, I've been doing this for a number of years, and this is the 33rd year for the National Night Out. I don't believe there's ever been a more important year to do this. With all that's been going on around the nation, with all the questions about the relationship between neighborhoods and law enforcement, it, this is critical for everybody to be involved this year, more than any other, uh, because we've been fortunate, and I think it's more than good fortune, it's good planning. In the Houston area and in Harris County, uh, we've managed to avoid a lot of the controversy that has dogged other parts of the country. But we've got to make sure that law enforcement and the neighborhoods understand each other. That's point number one. But point number two never was driven home more than last week. There are a lot of people who think, well, 
that's somebody else's neighborhood that has to deal with this. I live in West University Place. Never did it cross anybody's mind that they're in idyllic, quiet, upscale West University where we're going to have an active shooter. And never was there a better example of law enforcement working together. We had everybody on scene. Uh, Mayor, I think you were in Cuba at the time, but I know you stayed fully briefed. Uh, your police department did an outstanding job. And it was a cooperative effort with City of Houston, West University, constables, probably Metro even show. I don't know. Everybody showed up, and I've heard nothing but glowing reports. That doesn't happen by accident. So we have to make sure going forward that all the neighborhoods in all of Harris County understand the importance of getting to know their law enforcement officers. And sometimes it's a little confusing because people do say, well, where does police department end and constable begin? And, and all of these, uh, we need to make sure that, that all the residents of our area understand. And National Night Out is a perfect chance my daughter and her family even hosted the Neighborhood National Night Out, I believe it was last year. They had outstanding food, Mayor, by the way. So, <laughs> so, so with that in mind, uh, I, I won't read the whole resolution. Uh, this is the 33rd annual National Night Out in Harris County. It will be held tomorrow evening, October 4th, from 6 to 9 p.m. It is supported by the Harris County Sheriff's Office, Harris County Constable's Offices, uh, city of Houston, surrounding area police departments, but the key really is involved citizens. It, it doesn't do any good if just a bunch of, of law enforcement show up. It's got to involve the citizens. Sponsored by the National Association of Town Watch, it's a coast-to-coast -coast community crime prevention project, and so I'm thrilled uh, to present this resolution signed by all members of Harris County Commissioner's Court, uh, be it resolved that Harris County Commissioner's Court designates Tuesday, October 4th, 2016, as National Night Out in Harris County, Texas, and calls upon all residents to participate. So, Sheriff Hickman, I'm very pleased to present this resolution to you at this time. Thank you, Judge, and thank you, Mayor. Um, coincidentally, I happen to have been in Harris County 33 years, so it works out well that we've had this program going on that entire time. And today you see gathered here probably what I think is the largest collection of law enforcement agencies that I recall in any of that time. You know, as both the mayor and the judge uh, have mentioned, this is one of those opportunities. And I think in, in society today, as the judge mentioned, we can ill afford to miss out on opportunities to dialogue with your neighbors, to know who your neighbor's children are, uh, the, the cars that come and go in your neighborhood, and to talk with law enforcement to have an opportunity for your children to talk with law enforcement so that we have an opportunity to interact and dialogue in a positive way and understand each other. You know, things that are going on in society today challenge all law enforcement agencies and the community. There will literally be hundreds of National Night Out events across this county in every municipality, in every neighborhood that, that decides to do so. Now, I'm sure it's probably the number one sales night for James Coney Island. <laughs> and, and, and Mayor, I will, and Judge, I will profess an affinity for James Coney Island, so uh, there will be plenty of that out there tonight. So if you miss out on an opportunity to find a national night out somewhere, it's your own fault. If you don't talk with your neighbors, it's your own fault. If you don't go out and get your children to talk with law enforcement or get to know the guys that patrol your neighborhood, it's your own fault. So take advantage of the opportunity to get out and engage with your neighbors, engage with law enforcement, because as you can see, every agency here is, is engaged in the opportunity. We want to be able to talk with our communities. We want to be able to have our officers interact in a positive way to explain our services and our responsibilities, part of which is to talk and dialogue with our communities. So thank you for the opportunities here today, and, and we're very proud to, at the Harris County Sheriff's Office to be involved in the 33rd National Nine Out program. Thank you. 
Thank you uh, again, uh, Judge and uh, Sheriff Hickman. We'd also like to thank many of the community and civic groups that have been working uh, very tirelessly to put together events and block parties. Uh, we'd also like to thank um, the Houston Police Union for their support of uh, National Night Out as well as other community initiatives that uh, we have had throughout the year. Um, before we conclude, though, uh, I would like to recognize Officer, Senior Police Officer Jesse Martinez, who is retiring after more than 30 years with HPD and has been a a very, very dedicated worker, not only on National Night Out, but Keep Houston Safe and many other events. And he'll be passing the baton on to a new up-and-coming officer, John Williams. John, give a wave. All right, thank you. And again, I encourage all media to please get with some of the officers here, find out what's going on. The event is tomorrow from 6 to 9 p.m. So this is a good opportunity to find out where people are going, what's going to take place, and we hope to see you all in the place. Now, before we go, um, we would like to get a group photo with everyone, so please don't just leave uh, very quickly. Um, I'll get out of the way, but if you all would remain. And thank you so much for coming. Is this in relation to National Night Out? It is. All right. Is there a growth in the number of neighborhoods over the years that are participating in, and also are there some areas of town that are more active than others in setting this up? Uh, Jesse, come on over here. It's, it's, <laughs> you're not retired yet, uh, Jesse. I can tell you this, at least from the, the, the list that I, I saw, that there has been an increase. There, there has been an increase. Uh, a lot of uh, citizens out there have been encouraged, not only by, like mentioned earlier, what's happening with our communities out there right now and police departments. It's our job to build community police trust in our communities, but it's also the responsibility of the citizens out there to help us out and report any suspicious activities. This encourages people to participate during National Night Out because it is an opportunity for them to get to know their neighbors. and also to encourage law enforcement officers to patrol their neighborhoods to come by wave say hi it's important for us to build that trust with our communities out there so yes there are a lot of more events that are occurring every year and there's a lot more people uh, participating and national association of town watch is very supportive when it comes to that It, it, it's hard to tell what communities participate the most, but I've always used one thing. One point that's very important is whoever does participate, we as police department and law enforcement agencies all over Harris County, try to give them the best service possible and to encourage them to continue and spread the word and participate in the event. I've been to some events where it could be as, as few people as, as 10 folks. But I, uh, you still got to stop. You got to thank them for doing that, and and we can work toward making that larger. But it's got to begin somewhere, and so there's a variety all over the city and the county. Yeah, the most all of us keep a spreadsheet. Mm -hmm. uh, we just ask our our list is 111 across the county. And I'm sure the, the city has a, a large number as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it's a lot to keep up with because each year more and more people are asking to be involved. And so, you know, across the county, and I know the, the city as well, we spread our resources out throughout all these different communities to make sure they have an opportunity to see what services we provide, what we can all do to work together to help, you know, make crime go down. I went to a birthday party one time by accident, thought, thinking it was National Night Out. <laughs> <laughs> and they did a National Night Out the, uh, the very next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crashed the, Crash the birthday party. <laughs> it was excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.